hi you guys if you are new here and end up enjoying this video please don't forget to subscribe if you aren't new welcome back my loves i have missed you so much but welcome back to another vlog it is the first of december which is really exciting december is an amazing month and i'm so excited to get it started i have officially made it back from spending thanksgiving with family it went really well the flights went really well you know i have really bad anxiety so i thought i was gonna die so i'm really happy to be here with you guys <laughs> but this vlog is gonna be us getting back into routine because if you guys saw my last video you will know that the trip was two weeks long because of flights being just super pricey you know around the week of thanksgiving so to try and finesse the system we stayed for a little longer the trip was great i really enjoyed seeing family i really missed them but i was too weeks off my game two weeks an entirely different routine so now that we're back home we're gonna be getting back in a routine and I'm really excited about it but I do want to let you guys know that I will not be doing vlogmas this year I have always tried to do vlogmas I've been doing YouTube for four years now and every year I've tried to do vlogmas and have failed terribly I think the first time I did vlogmas I did pretty good I think I maybe did like two or three videos they were were weekly videos I think second time I think I gave up on YouTube completely so I think I was in my era of not recording and then last year I did vlogmas I think I, I I almost did it I almost did it I think I did maybe two videos I did pretty good but I'm just gonna not do vlogmas at all just continue with you know regular filming regular content that I want to make for you guys but I am going to try to post every week this month so roughly around four videos see if I can do that and then next year if you know this goes well then I will try to do vlogmas next year but this year I just know how it goes I'm gonna let the other YouTube girlies handle it they'll probably do amazing with it vlogging every single day you know but I'm gonna be patient with myself and you know still gonna try to make a lot of videos for you guys though so don't worry but yeah I'm really excited I'm really excited I'm really excited and I hope you guys are excited too because content is about to be really fun. We're starting the new year off and 2023, 2022 was a very stressful year, but it was still my year. 2023, I can already tell is really, really, really gonna be my year, so. But yeah, let me stop rambling and go ahead and wake up, get ready for the day. Because I was gone for so long, I did end up getting a few packages. If you guys saw my last vlog, you guys will know that I ordered a skim set and I tried to get it in time before the trip, but it did not come in time. So I had to wait all the way until I got home to have it, but it all worked out perfectly. I'm gonna put it on and then get ready because it is the first of the month. And I wanna do that trend on TikTok, you know. Wake up. This is for sure. You know that trend? but also got a, another package from spoiled child i am gonna create some content for them and it's really cute it says welcome to capsule culture and this is the product which is pretty cool i love working with creative brands that aren't basic and give me an experience every time i use their products so i am going to take care of this face get out of my pjs and get ready for this day I'm just gonna do a light makeup today. I'm not really feeling that glamorous. So I just wanna do a little bit just so that I don't look crazy in the TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just do a little something, something. I still am in love with the highlight stick. Okay, makeup is done. Look at my eyelashes. Okay, I will be right back. I will rec I'm gonna record a TikTok and then I will put on my skims and then we will really get this vlog started. Okay, this is the set. I freaking love it. Now let's get our day started. Looking cute 
and put together. This is my suitcase. It is a very small suitcase, but it has some type of compartment thing, some type of tool that kind of lets you extend it. And when I say it is extended to the max, like it could bust open right now. It is so heavy, but now I need to unpack it. When I was first checking it in, it was roughly around 27 pounds, but I bet you it's like 30 pounds plus now. I cannot control myself with the shopping. organized from clothes that I did wear that need to be washed and clothes that I didn't wear that can probably just be put back. for unpacking. I really have had better habits lately because me a year ago, like the suitcase would still be packed like months later. <laughs> so I'm really proud of myself. But just like other ways, like I had a huge crying sesh last night, but I was able to wake up and still have a smile on my face and do this vlog like a few months ago in like the beginning of the year, my emotions would really get in the way of me living life and you know, being able to keep it pushing and keep going. But the habits that I've created for myself have made it really easy for me to heal and just keep going, you know? So I just wanna remind you guys to keep going. Don't give up. Everything will work itself out, I promise. I'm even having to tell myself that, so. But I want to give you guys a haul of everything I got while back in Virginia. I did a little shopping and I did a little shopping for clothes, but I did a lot of shopping for like makeup and cosmetic shopping. I went to Ulta with my mom and we just had a ball. So <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the clothes first. I got this skirt from H&M. It's actually really cute. I've been needing like a basic skirt like this that isn't too short and isn't too long. I think this is perfect, so I really like it. Then I got this long silk skirt from Cotton On. Cotton On had a major sale. Like, I was able to get that skirt for like $3. It's crazy. And then I also got this dress from Cotton On as well. I also got it for another $3. And it's kind of like off the shoulder, long sleeve, and kind of long. I don't really like the length of it and the shape of it it's kind of awkward so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut it to be a top and repurpose it i think it'll be amazing as a top it just really sucks as a dress but now time for this big bag my mom spoiled me literally everything that i could possibly need is in this bag Got an exfoliating wash towel, setting spray, primer. And this primer is poreless, so I'm excited to see what my makeup looks like with the poreless primer. We talked to this lady in the store. She gave us some products and she recommended these three. So we got these three. <laughs> Discoloration correcting serum, daily brightening serum, and overnight exfoliating treatment. So I think these are gonna be a holy trinity in my routine now. And I'm really excited to use these a setting powder i also got another one of my cleansers my favorite from urban skin rx a nars concealer and it's mini so that i can see how i like it my mom had did some shopping at bath and body works but ended up wanting to return some of the items she got so she said that i could take any of them that she wanted and i chose this lotion it actually smells really good it has vitamin e aloe shea and cocoa butters and hyaluronic acid so yeah and it smells amazing yeah, it smells really good. 
I got this lip liner and tree hut scrub for lips. Tree hut sugar scrub for the body. This is coconut lime. It smells amazing. It smells so good. I'm so excited to use it tonight. And then the very last thing that I got, which was gifted to me by Daylin, is this Fenty Skin Body Butter. It smells really good. So I'm about to be smelling so good. Oh, and I also got Marc Jacobs Mini Perfume. Let me go grab it real quick. Here it is, Daisy Marc Jacobs. I had minis, so sometimes I don't like the commitment of such a big bottle and sometimes they're quite expensive. So I thought it was perfect to try a mini one and I think I really like it. It smells so good. So that is how my haul is looking. I have a lot of new stuff and I'm actually really excited to use my makeup routine, my shower routine and like hygiene routine is about to advance, which is really exciting. Okay, so I just got back from having a photo shoot. It went really well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pictures. They turned out really good. I had so much fun posing in my skims, but now I am about to try to sort through all the products that I just got, try and put away my skincare, because I have a lot of skincare. So I'm gonna try and see what I'm not using and try and make space for the products that I will be using and then see what I can do with the old products and then try and see if I have space in my makeup bag for my new makeup products. I clearly have a lot to go through and I definitely want to downsize. It is a little scary seeing these mini products start to pile up, <laughs> but I am working towards it. Now I am going to take a shower and get ready for bed because I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow and I wanna have a productive day tomorrow as well. I'm gonna get up early and get things done. So I'm going to go ahead and try to go to bed early. Even if I'm not falling asleep early, it's best to start to wind down early at least, you know, minimize the screen time as early as possible. I'm really excited about the shower because I'm gonna use this to exfoliate. I'm gonna use this to now be able to wash my back and I'm gonna use this to moisturize my body and I'm so excited. But now I need to take my makeup off first. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a shower and do the rest of my skincare after I shower. some candles and get the vibes going and really just vibe tonight now i am out of the shower and i feel so clean my legs and arms are so smooth like my skin feels so good so i am so excited to get in the bed there are a lot of shows that i didn't watch because i was you know because i wasn't home so i know gossip girl just season three i think just aired today wednesday is out i have to catch up on white lotus i have to catch up on the l word i have to catch up on a lot of youtube videos especially now that vlogmas is here everyone's gonna be posting every day so i am actually so excited for the content all my favorite creators are uploading so i'm about to relax and so excited but i will talk to you guys in the morning when we are headed to the gym
It's now six and now we are headed to the gym. It's exciting because I don't think I've ever been up this early for the gym. Cheers to new beginnings. Pretty much just finished my workout. Been here for about an hour and some change. It's like 7.20. So typically I work out for like 45 to 50 minutes, but today I was really able to get into the workout and keep going for about an hour, which I think is really good. I definitely feel the workout. This past week when I had worked out with my mom, she really inspired me to kind of lift heavier. And then I've been seeing videos about saying how if you really want to see results, lift heavier. That's how you really get to the muscle. So I was like, okay. And I feel really good now. I think I can do it. So that's exciting. But now I'm just in the yoga room, I think. No one's in here and it's pretty dark, which I really like. It's cool in here too, so I get to cool off a little bit. I'm gonna stretch a little bit and then I'll probably go to the sauna and then probably head out. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> in here so it's perfect so i'm gonna relax for a little bit zone out and i will see you guys later i have missed my car so much i am so happy to be back in my baby azula she smells so good and she's so comfy and just so perfect for me. I love her. But that was an amazing gym sesh. I'm really happy I was able to get up and go this morning. It's so exciting being consistent. I haven't been this consistent since high school when I was playing volleyball and tennis and cheer and conditioning for my sports. But it was like I was already at school. It wasn't that hard to just, you know, walk to the gym and practice, you know? Now it's like I actually have to push myself to get up early and, you know, I have to have gym clothes I have to drive myself there pretty much taking care of myself as an adult which is very interesting but i'm so happy that i have come this far because i didn't think i was going to be able to get a wrap on it i really thought that i was not going to be able to get a wrap on my fitness journey as an adult I, you know like the past two years i was having such a hard time but i see now that it was just depression body dysmorphia just all these things and like all these things that were delusion that were clouding my head that weren't real well depression and body dysmorphia is real but it's it's all in my head and once i figured out how to fight and you know the negative thoughts and clear my head it's just been so much easier to just show up for myself which i think is amazing especially by 20 i was afraid that if i didn't get it right by 20 that i was never gonna get it right but don't ever attach an age or a time to your journey like time isn't real don't let it control or hinder the things that you want to do no matter how old you are no matter how much time you have show up for yourself just start now don't wait until tomorrow or later like if you're thinking of it if you're thinking of it get up and do it like that's how i was able to really pick up on this like when i felt the urge to work out i got up and i stretched like straight out the bed just got up stretched if i got in the bathroom and i was looking at my body i was like let me pop a few squats you know waiting for the shower you know did a little arm twist you know leg lifts just something just start showing up for yourself little by little and you will start to see that you you can do it so yeah that's a little motivation for the day i'm gonna go ahead and head home i am very hungry very sweated out kind of tired but i think i kind of want to see what i can do early this morning but we'll see <laughs> 